Hey guys! All the Champions League semi-finalists have become known, but who is your favorite to succeed in the whole tournament? Write your team in the comments below right now! Subscribe if you are not with us yet and give this video your no less valuable like! Alright, let's get the show on the pitch! The reaction at the end shows the pride of seeing a team that competes. It gives us the peace of mind that we have given everything to get through the tie. Simeone stated after the game against Man City. Real Madrid winning the Champions League? It's possible. They all sacrifice. Ancelotti gives them personality and they have an incredible center for it. Fabio Capella notes. Firmino became the fourth Liverpool player to score 20 plus goals in the Champions League, joining Salah, Mane and Gerard in this regard. Manchester United and Real Madrid have held talks for River Plate midfielder Enzo Fernandez. His release clause is 20 25 million euros. Manchester City have reached the Champions League semi finals for the second time in a row and the third in history. Liverpool under Klopp reached the semi finals of the Champions League for the third time out of five attempts. Villarreal kicked out Juventus and Bayern, so they deserve to be in the semi finals. Emery is the king of the cups, Klopp said after Atletico passed. In the Champions League semi-final, Real Madrid is going to face Man City, while Liverpool will play Villarreal. Liverpool reached the European Cup semi-finals for the 12th time, thus repeating the England club's record of Manchester United. Pep Guardiola became the first coach in history to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League nine times. The strongest number in nine of the moment is Lewandowski. Benzema is doing very well too, Alison Becker claimed. Man City have played their 100th Champions League game. The citizens have 55 wins. Only Real Madrid have more in a period of 100 matches. Agbon Lahore has commented on £400,000 a week for Salah. There's going to be a big problems at Liverpool. Mane and Van Dijk will want to renegotiate, the football expert told. Everything they said in the press motivated us. I think Bayern lacked a bit of humility. It's incredible. There we shocked Europe. Kapu Etienne shared. Inter are targeting Leandro Paredes. PSG in turn intend to sell the midfielder for 15 million euros. Gianluca Scamacca and Sassuolo have extended the contract until 2026. Milan, Inter and Juventus have been reportedly eyeing the forward earlier on. What happened on Tuesday shows that La Liga is not far behind the Premier League. By the way, Villarreal should be put on big club list, Chavi thinks. Hopefully, we'll celebrate La Liga triumph at Luz de Gas. This is a Barcelona night club, Laporta revealed. Manchester United management did not discuss the appointment of Eric Ten Hag with the players. Ronaldo was against appointing Conte back in autumn. Immobile may retire from Italian national team due to relegation from North Macedonia and lots of criticism. Villarreal is not the opponent which you can get knocked out from. Bayern's elimination hurts German football, Lothar Matthäus says. If you play against Real Madrid, you can maybe expect that not everybody has the courage. I felt these small decisions in both legs. Tuchel shared. A Panini trading card with Messi was bought for $522,000 at an online auction. Barcelona don't look at Madrid to make demands of ourselves. A 1-0 in the 90th minute is not enough. It's about excellence in everything we do. There's no other club in the world like this, Chavez stated. Chelsea had 10 minutes to go through to make a miracle come true. When I scored, I thought we are through with this, Timo Werner shared. MLS clubs have agreed not to work with players and managers from Russia and Belarus. Give Bielsa my Barcelona and you will see how he will win titles. Give me Leeds, but I would still be in the championship, Guardiola admitted. Nagelsmann disrespected Villarreal when he said he wanted to decide the tie in the first leg. Sometimes when you spit up, it falls on your face, Dani Parejo said. The semi-finals are always the minimum goal for Bayern Munich. I don't know what awaits me, Julian Nagelsmann told. Villarreal did not play for a time. Have you forgotten the first leg? In it, we were better than them all 90 minutes. Each team has tactics, you know Emery commented. Chelsea have been my toughest opponent. Even after a 3-1 in London, they knew it would be complicated," Modric said. 
Chelsea is the second English club in history to score three goals at Real Madrid home stadium in a European Cup match. Benzema has seven goals in the current Champions League playoff stage. Three goals remain to get to Cristiano Ronaldo's achievement. Ancelotti is the first coach to reach the Champions League quarterfinals in four consecutive decades. Real Madrid knocked out the current European Cup winner for the ninth time. Juventus are second with five victories. Yesterday, we witnessed the second legs of the Champions League quarterfinals. The results are in front of you. Moving on to the main news of the day. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's Champions League playoff showdowns. Atletico hosted Manchester City after suffering a minimal loss in the first leg, 0-1. The match itself turned out to be very intense and very boring at the same time, with the fun part beginning only at the very end of the clash. But we are to mention it separately. For the final result, we had a goalless draw, which brought Pep Guardiola's Lets to the semi-finals. Our congratulations! In another tie of the day, Liverpool and Benfica staged a super entertaining shootout, 3-3. Moreover, we recall that the first game ended with a convincing victory of the Reds, 3-1. It all started with Konate's goal in the 21st minute. Then Gonzalo Ramos managed to equalize, 1-1. Then the teams went on a break. The second half kicked off with a brace from Firmino, though Lisbon responded thanks to accurate shots from Yaremchuk and Darwin Nunez. Subsequently, we received a score of 6-4, which perfectly suited the Liverpool side. Our congratulations! The game between Atletico and Manchester City wrapped up with numerous skirmishes. Teams had 12 minutes over the regular time of the second half. This happened as a result of things getting too far in the pitch. Atletico defender Felipe tackled hard against Phil Foden in the 89th minute. A skirmish sparkled involving performers from both squads. Stefan Savic even grabbed Jack Grealish by the hair. In stoppage time, several footballers received yellow cards at once, and Felipe was the one who got sent off. The head coach of the Indians, Diego Simeone, also got warned with a yellow due to entering the pitch in the 100th minute. After the final whistle blew, the brawl between the players proceeded to a tunnel where the players pushed each other and exchanged rudeness, with Stefan Savic and Jack Grealish acting more actively than others. As a result, UEFA employees asked the Madrid police, which managed to find its way into the tunnel of the Wanda Metropolitana Stadium, to intervene. Atletico supporters insulted Pep Guardiola at the end of the tie against Manchester City. As the second half went by, the Spanish coach got seriously obstructed by fans who were present at the Wanda Metropolitana Stadium. As journalist Miguel Delaney, who was at the arena, notes, the entire stadium was shouting obscene chants against the coach. Take this one for example. Son of a Pep Guardiola. Manchester City are pushing for the signing of Erling Haaland. What's more, they put in a lot of effort in doing so. Direct negotiations are now underway. Pep Guardiola has a desire to have him at any cost. The race is still open, including Real Madrid's management too. The decision has not yet been made, as it all depends on Erling. Barcelona and Bayern are behind Manchester City and Real Madrid in terms of financial backup for the deal. Barcelona have made signing Lewandowski a top priority. Xavi has already spoken to Robert. Numerous meetings also took place between Laporta and Pini Zahavi with the aim of making the transfer at an affordable price. The Pole wishes to leave Bayern this summer. The last meeting for a final decision is about to take place in May. Lewandowski at Barcelona? Of course, Robert is a great footballer, but we focus on tomorrow's Europa League game against Eintracht. I understand your question, but now it's not the moment to talk about him. Here's what Xavi said about the potential move of Bayern's ace. Folks, watch the new video on our Football Mode project. Goals that destroyed laws of physics. Check it out for yourself. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.